Hi, my name is Tarun Chaudhary. I'm a data warehouse specialist solutions architect here at AWS. With over 200 features and capabilities added in the last 18 months, Amazon Redshift continues to innovate to make it easier, faster, and cheaper for the customers to analyze their data. In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can query operational data stored in an Aurora Postgres DB from Redshift. Let's see how it works. In order to make this demo work, I would need the IAM role associated with the Redshift cluster, the RDS endpoint that we are querying, and the, a policy that will enable Redshift to query the Postgres DB. A secret ARN that would be needed to authorize Redshift to connect to Postgres, and we are going to create an external scheme at the end. Let's see. So from the AWS console, you need to go to the secrets manager. Once you're into secret manager, you need to copy the secret ARN from there. This secret ARN is going to be used in the policy and the create external schema definition as well. So here I just pasted the secret ARN into the policy. I'm going to copy the policy, go to the IAM under policies. I'm going to create a new policy. And this policy text, the JSON, I'm going to copy this JSON and paste it into the JSON box. And hit review policy, enter the name for the policy. And hit create policy. As you can see, the policy is created successfully. The next step is to attach this policy to the role that is attached to our Redshift cluster. Simply attach policy that we created in the previous step to this Redshift role. Once this step is successful, let's go back to the Amazon Redshift console and go to the query editor from here. After logging into the query editor, we need to create the external schema that will list our Postgres DB tables. I'm just replacing the values here, the IAM role that is attached to our Redshift cluster. The RDS endpoint that needs to that we are querying from Redshift cluster and the secret ARN as well. Once the query is successful, you would see under the schema. Postgres schema would be listed. As you can see under the Postgres schema, you would see two tables, customer and inventory. These are the tables that exist in the Postgres DB. I'm going to write a simple query on these tables. I'm going to write a query on the inventory table, just a select start. And we're going to see how it fetches the data from those Postgres operational database. There you go. So you can see the results we are fetching from the Postgres schema and the table inventory. Now let's try out a simple join between the local Redshift table and 
Postgres DB table. In this particular query, we are just joining the inventory Postgres table with our local warehouse table. As you can see, the query ran successfully. Next, let's try running an insert statement. This insert statement essentially is comparing the inventory table in the Postgres DB and the inventory table in the local data warehouse, Redshift data warehouse. And in this particular query, you're just trying to compare the results. If there are records, as you can see, there are records which exist in the Postgres DB, but they do not exist in the Redshift table. After running the insert statement, these delta records would be inserted to the local Redshift table. So this is one of those use cases where there are complex ETLs where you extract the data first and then load to a data warehouse. In this scenario, it just happened in a single statement. And this concludes our demo. Thanks for watching the video.